Iran is in the news every day, all the time. What's happening in Iran? Let me help you understand. It started when Mahsa Amini, with, his, uh, with her family, came to Tehran for a vacation. She was arrested because she didn't have proper uh, hijab, the covering. When she was under custody, she was beaten up and she died of head injuries. That ignited, that started an anger among people. And these demonstrations, protests have started and has not died down. But what is it really? Is it just for hijab? Are the people on the streets so they will have allowed to be allowed to have hijab? No, no, the, the issue is much bigger than that. If the government comes out and says, okay, now you can wear whatever you want, people will not go home. What happened to Maso was a trigger. There was suppressed anger, frustration, disgust in the Iranian society. And this was an excuse for all to come out. Who are these people? You look at the last few days, few years, you see that many um, segments of the society were oppressed and were brutally beaten. You know, the farmers came out last year and the government arrested some and killed some. Then the retirees came out, the same. Violence, beat them up, arrest some of them because of the finances they came out. The teachers came out a few months ago. What was the government's answer? Again, violence, arrested some, put some in jail. Those poor people who came on streets because they, of the fina finances, financial problem, they couldn't uh, support they could, their own family, they couldn't provide for their own family. Again, the government's answer to all these problems of people coming on streets was violence, killing and arrest. So over the last two years, all these segments of the societies, like in one of the provinces, they came out because they didn't have water. What was the government's answer? Killing, arresting. So now all these suppressed people, people groups who are, had gone into their homes individually, this group, that group, that group, they found a cause, Mahsa Amini, to come on streets and start demonstrating. What they want, once again, it's not about hijab. It's about the government. These people want to topple the government. They're sick and tired of Islamic government that has suppressed them, has forced them into their homes, has taken away all their resources for the last 40 some years. They don't want the Islamic government and most of them, they don't even want Islam. They want to change the government. These demonstrations will not go away. People will not go home easily. Even if the government kills many of them, they still will say, we are dead anyway. We have no life. We have no future in Iran. And we are ready to go on the streets. Even if we die, we will not go home. Pray for Iran. Iran is the verge of change. And we as Christians, we need to pray. Yes, we need to be, be a voice for the oppressed. Yes, but we also need to partner with God see what God is doing, and align ourselves with God to transform Iran into a Christian nation. Even through the, all these sufferings, God is at work, and Iran will be saved, according to Jeremiah 49, 38.